We talked about trauma as being a highly energetic response, right? Tremendous amount of energy. I just happen to have one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century, this slinky. And this represents this, okay, we're just, you know, we're just walking and, and, and kind of our energy is bouncing like this. So this is just casually living our lives. Living our lives, going about, you know, the activities of day, taking a nice walk on the beach, you know, this kind of thing. Okay, here's maybe we're working out, so we're kind of pushing this a little bit. Now here's where we're threatened and tremendous amount of energy is mobilized. Huh? Uh -huh. This wild amount of energy is mobilized. And what happens is when we are overwhelmed, this energy gets locked down. You see, we don't, we, we're, we're frightened of it. The best thing you can do is shut down your metabolism so that you are no longer using oxygen. So that's it. So this energy gets locked down here. And so we, we step on it. We try to keep it. It must take a lot of energy to hold that amount of energy you down. You better believe it. And that's again why we get these kinds of tremendously painful symptoms uh, when we've been traumatized. Because in a sense, these are fragments, fragments of sensory body memory. Mm -hmm. And what happens in healing trauma is that you kind of bring these elements, these, the sensory experience together in a coherent way while discharging this energy. And it's not that you, it's not about getting the memory or, or even the effect of the memory, but of how much energy has been released and cannot be integrated into the organism. And that's the key, is in discharging the energy. Because here, look, here's the the, the bound energy. Now what would happen if, 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 this, if this energy released all at once, it would be tremendously bursting of energy and it would be chaotic. You see, and I think that's what happens when they get triggered, basically. It, it, that's right. That's right. When they're reliving the trauma, this energy just goes crazy. I guess that's why and some people end up actually being violent at that moment or violent towards themselves. Right, Viol violent towards themselves or violent towards the other. It is not uncommon for, for returning soldiers to, in the middle of the night, be attacking, sometimes really hurting or even killing their wives or their spouses uh, with this unbridled rage, you know, because they are experiencing as though somebody were coming to kill them as far as they know, they're, they're protecting their lives by trying to kill a Viet, a, a Viet Cong soldier. Mm -hmm. So the important thing in this process is to find a way to release this energy gradually. You, what you want to do is create the situation, in this case the play, which allows a little bit of energy to be released. You see the way it vibrates. And again, you see it vibrating, and again, and again, until the full energy is integrated back within the nervous system, and that, if you like, is what allows the nervous system to reset. Little by little, so that the person is not overwhelmed, and so that they can have reaccess their life energy. Because when you're suppressing this energy, you don't have energy to really live. You're not really, you're not living. You're using your energy, you, you, I guess, to keep it down. You're using attacked. your energy to keep it down. So you don't do things that could be exciting or even fun or pleasurable. The trick here is to not deny it, but to not get swept away with it. To, to say, to feel the anger as physical sensations in the body because anger almost always goes to power. I'm going to give you an example. You feel your jaw feeling really tight and you feel your fist. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I say, okay, let's just put all of this aside for a little bit. This stuff that you saw on the TV. Right. Okay? So feel your fist. Okay. And now very slowly just tighten your fist a little bit more. So actually move into that and move into that tension, just tighten it to a little bit, but just a teeny, teeny bit, and then release it a teeny, teeny bit. Okay, so again, feeling your fist, and very slowly, 
contracting it a little bit more, just minutely, and then releasing it. That's right. And just noticing what happened to your breath and to your shoulders. So that's kind of how we dance with anger. Another thing, you can work with the jaw. Okay, so you feel there's tension in the jaw. So just feel the tension and just play with something like this. Go to the point where there's resistance and then just come back. Go to the resistance and come back. 